Okay, here we have question number three from the C1 legacy paper from June 2018, the GCE paper. And this also happens to be question number four from my P1, the new P1 IAL uh, practice paper number C. Okay, it's also question number four from that. And I'm going to be going over this question now. Here we asked to express the function f of x, which is given as x squared minus 10x plus 23, in the form x plus a squared plus b, where a and b are constants to be found. So basically, they're asking us to complete the square. So we start off with f of x equals x squared minus 10x plus 23. And this is exactly how we want it to be. Um, before we start completing the square, we don't have any coefficient in front of the x squared except for 1, which is what we need. So we can go straight away and start completing the square. So what I'm going to do is, to complete the square, you have to have a bracket which is squared. And you write x, and you write minus if there's a minus. And you write a half of just the coefficient, which is 5. x minus 5 squared. Now if I was to square this bracket, I'm going to get x squared minus 10x and plus 25. Well, I don't want the plus 25. Okay, I don't want the plus 25. I'm just concentrating on this section here. I'm not concentrating on that part. I want to have just x squared minus 10x. So I've got to take away the 25. Okay, so this part of the um, expression is just the x squared minus 10x bit. That has co I've, I've completed the square with that bit. If I expand this, I'm going to get x squared minus 10x plus 25 minus 25, which will leave me x squared minus 10x, which is exactly what I want. Okay, but then we've got this plus 23 hanging out at the end. So you have to write that down there and then add that with the minus 25. So you've got x minus 5 squared, and you're going to have minus 2. So that's in this form that we want. So we can see from here that a is equal to minus 5, and b is equal to minus 2, according to what they've given us here. All right, so then part b it says, hence or otherwise, find the exact solutions to this equation. x squared minus 10x plus 23 equals 0. So hence or otherwise, we've got to find the exact solutions to this equation. One second. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. All right. So hence or otherwise. So hence means using what we've just found. Okay, x squared minus 10x plus 23 is exactly the same as this. Okay, what we completed the square for. So we can say x squared minus 10x uh, plus 23 equals 0 is the same as, so we can say x squared minus 10, 10x plus 23 equals 0 can be written as x minus 5 squared minus 2 equals 0. Okay, this is... Um, easy for us now to solve. We can say x minus 5 squared is equal to 2. So x minus 5 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 2. And that's in exact form like they want. Okay. So completing the square helped us to solve it in this way. Otherwise, we could have used the quadratic formula to solve this equation. Okay. We can't factorize it because there's a little clue when it says exact, it means there's going to be some thirds in there. Okay, so that's part B done. And part C says, use your answer to part B to find the larger solution to the equation y minus 10y to the power of 0.5 plus 23 equals 0. So we have y minus 10y to the power of 0.5, which is like half, plus 23 equals 0. Now, if we look at what we have solved above, above. We solved x squared minus 10x plus 23 equals 0. And you can see that they're in the same form. You got um, something minus 10 times something plus 23. And if you notice very carefully, if we just say let x be 0 point, sorry, let x be y to the power of a half. If x is y to the power of 0 0.5, then of course x squared is the same as y. So we can rewrite this, or we can solve this equation. We know that y is equal to x squared. Okay, and we know that y has two values. You have um, x, x has two values, so you have 5 plus root 2. So y will be 5 plus root 2 squared, and 5 will, y will be 
5 minus root 2 squared. So we're going to write our answer like this. So the larger solution, so of course this is going to be the larger solution because this one you're going to have 5 minus root 2, so that's smaller. So we're going to go with this one. This is the larger. This is one is going to be the larger solution because it's a larger number squared. So you're going to have 5 plus root 2. So that's going to be 25 plus 2 times 5 times root 10, which is 10 root 2, plus root 2 squared, which is 2. So you end up with 27 plus 10 root 2, and that's the answer to that question. That's now what your y is. y is equal to x squared. We can see that from the way the equation is set out. Okay? So let's just confirm that. 25 plus 10 root 2, yep. Plus 2, 27 plus root 10 root 2. And there we have the answer to this question and that number 3. Okay, from this paper, June 18, C1. Or if you're doing the P1 practice paper C, this is question number 4. Thank you for watching.